Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. If this is your first time, welcome to the fam where we love telling amazingly epic stories about animals. Well friends, are you guys ready for today's adventure where we go with part two of Lily the Lionfish? She has swam all the way to the other side of the ocean to find Hugo who can help her with her messy fins. <gasps> is he gonna be able to pull this off in time? Well, let's see what happens. Let's go. As Lily the lionfish stood at Hugo's door, she was crushed. She was so sad that it's closed. What am I going to do? I can't go to the party looking like this. I look like I rolled around in a big pile of mud. Hugo, are you in there? What? Who is there? Said a voice from behind the door. <gasps> Hugo! 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 It's, it's, it's Lily, the lionfish. I really need your help today. I, my, my fins are an absolute mess and only you can save the day. Can you please open the door? Oh, but I am closed today and you must come back tomorrow. But that will be too late, said Lily. Yeah, today is the party today today is saturday the day of the annual i synchronized spawning of corals and i look like i rolled around in mud oh it could not be that bad let me oh as hugo opened up a little slot on the door and peered his eyes through he saw that lily was not exaggerating i must admit that i have never seen such a terrible uh Miss of fiends before in my life. Please, come in. We must fix this. Lily was so relieved to finally receive the help that she needed. She swam inside of Hugo's salon, which he so graciously let her in, even though he was closed today on Saturdays. But an emergency is an emergency. And Hugo got to work. You should have seen all of his little hands and legs fast at work. Do you know how many legs and arms that a shrimp has? Well, Hugo, he has a lot. He has five pairs of little swimmer legs. That's kind of on under his belly, and those help him swim around. Then he has five other pairs of legs and pinchers. So that's 10 right there. And then he has three more pairs of other legs. And all in all, they have about 26 legs. Holy smokes. Well, all of his legs were fast at work, pinching and pulling on her fins. Ow. Ouch, said Lily. Sorry, dear. Just hold still. All the poking and prodding was, it kind of hurt Lily a little bit, but she knew that it was important. Do you ever have to brush your hair out and it's like kind of knotty? Yeah, that it kind of hurts, right? Oh, I know. Well, just imagine that it's all of your fins that are being poked by a tiny cleaner shrimp. Yikes, I can totally understand why that would be pretty uncomfortable. As Lily looked at the time, she realized, oh no! I'm going to be late. I got to hurry. Hugo took one look at her eyes and said, Mieux votach koshami. What does that mean? Said Lily. It means it is better to be late than never to have been. Oh, yes. Hugo is very right. Sometimes we're just going to be late and that's okay. I think it's best to try and always be ready but just like we saw with Lily, sometimes stuff happens that you weren't expecting and you just have to roll with it. You just have to go with the flow and you might even need a cleaner shrimp to help you along the way. All right, Hugo. Well, thank you so much for helping me. I really have to get going. Au revoir, my friend, said Hugo as he waved all of his legs goodbye. Lily had a long swim ahead of her to get back to this big, big day. She had to swim carefully so that she wouldn't mess up all of her beautiful fins. But she felt better remembering that it was going to be okay that she was a little late. Ah, <sighs> She could take a deep breath and just swim back home. She had to grab some of the desserts that she had made for the party. 
and she picked up the dessert and started swimming off to the coral. As her friends were waiting for her at the coral, they were so excited to see her. Lily, we're over here, they shouted. Hey guys, said Lily. Wow, Lily, you look great. Was there something wrong earlier when you swam past all of us? They said. Yeah, well, (laughs) I woke up this morning in a terrible mess and needed some help from a friend. And he totally came through. And now we get to have a blast at this fun party. Lily spent the rest of the day with all of her friends at the big annual synchronized spawning of corals. And they had one of the greatest days of their entire life. I'm so glad that Lily was able to make the party and have a great time with her friends. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end. And who remembers something interesting about Lily the lionfish? Yes, she has venomous spikes on her fins. Holy smokes. So yeah, if you ever see a lionfish in the water, do not touch them. They, uh, you don't want to touch them and get poked because they can kill people. (sighs) They are very beautiful fish, but best admired from a safe distance. Well, my friends, I hope you have a super duper day and I'll see you next time, my friends. Bye.